Good day YouTube, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are and welcome back to another video. This is the Empress herself and I'm going to talk to you guys while sitting on this carpet of mine. I bought this carpet recently. Isn't it just a wonderful one? It's beautiful. It's like, it's, it's amazing. So yeah. And I want to sit here in my living room today. Uh, just talking to you guys and I don't know, I'm going to hold this camera and I hope my hand doesn't get too tired holding it. So, yeah, I'm in the Emirates today. I have, I'm off duty, so today I'm not working. I'm, it's a very relaxed day. And it's uh, 50 degrees, 55 degrees, or I don't know, it's really hot outside. So, everyone is indoor, you know. So, yeah. Um, yes, two days ago, I made a video, and I remember I was very scratchy, scratchy in the kitchen. And guys, I want to address that because I saw a couple of people commenting on that video and they were like, why are you scratching while eating, while cooking? Like, was I scratching while cooking your food? Was I doing, was that food going to your stomach or what? Like, anyway, guys, I want to say to you that just to let you guys know, usually you see me like doing this, like this in my nose. I have really, I have these allergies that i my skin i have an allergic condition that usually i just scratch my skin you know my skin just gets all scratchy and you know like i don't understand why i cannot even scratch my skin like my skin on my own videos like like seriously like whatever so <laughs> so people were like coming for me for scratching my skin like oh yeah. like seriously so anyway, I come back to this video and uh, just to make a video, another chatty video, we're going to talk today, you know, and I'm wearing, I'm going to give you guys an outfit of the day just while sitting. I'm not, I don't want to stand. So I'm wearing this outfit. It's like my church, church, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm wearing today. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very decent today. <laughs> Yeah, I, I am decent. <laughs> so anyway, let me come back to you guys. Okay. I want to tell you, okay, you, you know my channel is about talking random things. Anything that comes into my mind, we talk about. So today I'm going to talk about uh, a certain, certain situation. And uh, it's basically like my dating experience, of course. So recently... I met this guy and uh, you guys I talked to you guys about uh, dating Nigerian men in Dubai and I gave you I gave you the story that I went through uh, what I, I went through I want to st try and actually try to make this video very fast I don't want to take too much of your time and anyway so this time I went on a date with a Kenyan man Jesus is Lord <laughs> <laughs> so okay so this guy is my a lot of people usually tell me that i'm very picky when it comes to men and i'm not, i don't think i am picky at all and sometimes when i am making this kind of videos like for example the, the video i made regarding nigerian dating nigerian men in dubai i saw some girl or whatever was commenting and was like you attract who you are and I'm like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? You think that the girls who've had horrible experiences with guys, like, they usually sit down and pray and, and ask God, oh, please, God, bring for me a, a good for nothing cheetah man who is going to leave me with, a, with a, who's going to lie to me or, or, or all sort of, sorts of way and, and make me uh, uh, become pregnant and, uh, and abandon me with, uh, with, with five, six uh, children and then, and then lie to me again and again and I keep accept. Is that what you think? Like, 
obviously you know some of the people who comment on these videos they feel like they are successful in their lives because they they have husbands or they have wives or whatever so now then they feel like they are in a position to judge whoever hasn't met anybody for whatever reason like people have reasons and you will have your opinion i will have mine as well so maybe if you attract uh, the people you are then you attracted the people you are but for me it does not apply to me because that is not my life okay so anyway so yeah so this guy so it's it's in other words she meant like you are attracting wrong uh, bad men because you yourself you're bad like seriously like bye child child bye 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 you got a lot of a lot of growing up to do and we are not going to address you today so anyway you guys so this guy was a kenyan man and i've I've, I wouldn't say that I have dated, I've gone out on, guys, I'm a very late bloomer. Like, I'm one of those people who is, like, very, very, um, very principled when it comes to, I don't just date. You know, I don't just date. Like, recently is when I opened my, 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 I date, I date, you know, recently. Like, until I was maybe in my late 20s. That is when I actually started opening up myself to even giving people my number and going out with people for coffee, men for coffee, obviously. So I don't date most of the time. You know, I'm one of those people who date with intentions. And there's no, a lot of people have very bad intentions when it comes to dating. So that's why I don't even waste my time. So for I, I, the Kenyan guy chased after me and people still tell me that you are very picky open up so i'm like do i have to but okay if you say so so anyway i ended up giving the guy my number and it happened that i was flying out of nairobi kenya coming back to work and the guy was like very fast you know at first i told i asked him how old he is and then he told me that he's 28 obviously he's my my junior you know and um, I was like, you know, I'm in my 30s and I, I think for you, as, like, especially he's a Luo, he's from the same tribe as I am. They are quite, uh, they have this type of mentality unless they were born and raised outside Kenya. They have this mentality of, you know, I'm not going to go into details. I don't want people to come and start bashing me for speaking negative, whatever. But anyway. So I told this guy, you know, I'm older than you and I don't think it's, 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 you know, are you open to dating a woman who is older than you? And he was like, yeah, if you're not 45, I don't mind and da, da, da. So I was like, but then the, the way he said it, he said it like almost like, like he's not, he's not into dating older men, women, but he was just saying it so that, you know, for me to feel like. So I had the vibe that he's not like he's not very comfortable with that. But still, he's asking for my contacts. And anyway, to cut the long story short, we ended up talking and we had this heated conversation. And for some reason, he started opening up to me. And he said that he had closed himself completely when it comes to dating. He doesn't want to date anybody because obviously he's saying that he has very bad experiences with women in Kenya and da 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 da. Like, you know, these men usually give women the same line. All women, like most women, they say, they talk about the same things that they like again and again and again. They don't even, they don't even realize that this kind of line they've used or the other men has used so pathetic you guys listen to the story so he's like okay um uh i'm i'm fine like i'm you are not 45 so i can date you you know and he started talking to me like i didn't talk much he was doing the talking which i am i, I like that because at the end of the day i don't want to be the one who is running my mouth when i'm on a date with a guy because most of the time this guy pick up on what you say and then they act like when you say to them, oh, what are you, when they ask, what are you looking for? You're like, I'm looking for uh, humble, God-fearing, da, 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 marriage, da, da, da. then this man will act based on what you're telling them. They'll, they'll, they'll paint a picture of what you are telling them that you want, even though necessarily they're not that person. So it's better for, for me as a woman not to run my mouth, you know, because I don't want them to use my words 
to try and man manipulate me, you know, and act who they are not based on what I'm talking about. So he was like, yeah, um, and, and anyway, he started opening up and was talking to me about um, he, his financial uh, problems. And he was going on and on and how his business is stuck, how he, whatever, whatever. And then he was like, I'm sure you, because you are out of the country, I'm sure you're very established in your life. And for me, it's, I don't get that because I don't like to date, like I, I, I'm not comfortable being with a woman who is financially stable than me because I feel like she's going to disrespect me based on she has, she earns more than I do. And like she, he went on and on and on and was just ranting about this nonsense. And he, he said, okay, I, I, I will give it a, a try. I have never dated somebody who is obviously financial because it seems like, first of all, the guy was talking about his financial things. He, he, he doesn't have a proper job. He's struggling financially. And that is, this, the, the, that is what, he, what I get from what he was telling me. And then in the midst of the conversation, he was like, I'll, I think that uh, when... Okay, he asked me to be his girlfriend. Then I was like, we just met. <laughs> you can't just... He's like, I would rather do it now because you're flying out of the country, so it's best if you leave when we already established something and we know where we are heading to and la 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 la. And then I told him, because I felt like it was such a big joke that he was trying to, to pull out for, with me. So I was also joking. So I said, okay, okay, we can be girlfriend. Why not? I can be your girlfriend. So then he was like, okay, now we are a girlfriend and boyfriend and da, da, da. And then he said that, he said, I think he was, he thought that he was joking. But to me, I took it. I didn't take it as a joke. Because he was like, like, um, if, if, for example, I, I happen uh, to need a boost with my business, you can as well give me 200,000 Kenya shillings to, uh, to, to boost my business. And I was like, like he wants to borrow money from me. And then he went and was like, I have a lot of uh, people who are looking up for me, my parents, my sisters, my brothers, everyone is waiting for me to, to help them financially. And I, da, 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 da. so I, it was almost like I am in his line of responsibility. I am number five, you know, like I, like he's got priorities and I don't even fall under that priority. And he was like, even if I, we are dating and, and for me, I'm not, I'm not ready for, com like he was just going up and down, up and down with the way he was trying to deliver his speeches. And I was like, okay. Then he said, I'm not ready for anything at the moment. Okay. You are my girlfriend now, but I'm not ready for anything at the moment because I have to be established. I have to have a job, I have to be able to, to, uh, to help my family, his extended family, not necessarily me as a woman in his life. And I want to, within two years, I want to have a house in Kitengela and da, da, da. And then I asked him, have you even bought a, a land? Do you have land? Then he said, no, I'm not, I don't have a land, but I'm working on that and da, 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 da. da. And then I'm like, okay, it's good to have dreams. Like everybody's dream is valid at the end of the day. And then he was, he was just going on and on. And I was listening to him very keenly. And then when I asked him about how his parents or his relatives are going to feel about dating somebody who is older than him, and his answer was not, uh, I was not satisfied with his answer. Because I do know that according to Luo culture, if a younger, an older woman gets with a young woman, a, a young man, they will definitely pin it on witchcraft that I have bewitched, okay, I have gotten him through witchcraft. And the only way I'm going to be an exemption, an exception for him, exemption, yeah, was if I earned or even I, I, was, I was financially okay and I had established myself, then the family will feel like, I will be an asset to them, you know. That is the only reason they would even accept to be with, with somebody like me. And even for him, he was like, I can be with you, but you will borrow me money and you will do this. And then I feel like, and then the, the notion that he gave me was almost like, he felt like he's doing me a favor because I am obviously older according to them. 
him, he feels like because I am in my 30s, I'm obviously in the mentality of I'm desperate to get anybody at this point. So any man who will accept me, they will have been doing me a favor because at my age, I, by now, you know, you know, the cloud that is un, on top of, 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 of African women's head when they reach a certain age, when they, everyone is counting your biological clock, everyone is worried for you, and everyone is even more worried regarding your, your single status or you being unmarried status than you are even worried for yourself. So this is the kind of mentality he, I felt like he was giving me, like I'm as well giving you a chance to be in a relationship. You better just grab it. And I was like, like, oh my God, am I picking my face? Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm popping up. I'm, I'm not going to do that in there. But I will pop it afterwards. I pop my face a lot. So that is what he, he actually, I know I'm not supposed to do it, but it bothers me when I see a pimple. So I, I was like, okay. And then he went on and on and on. And then after that, to cut the long story short, remember I had given him my number. So we were to communicate. And of, I left Nairobi when I had already, it was like, you are my girlfriend and everything. So when I landed, I got a message from him and he was talking to me like already he knew me for ages, you know. We are girlfriend and boyfriend and everything. Then he told me that the next time you're in Nairobi, I want you to come to my house, my place i share an, a place with my cousin and it's i live in the servant quarters of a certain person's main house so i was like i, I just gave him like that side look and then he was like oh wh why are you giving me that side look or don't you visit people in their servant quarters because i know you have a house so so don't you visit people like are you are you too high to visit servant quarters like these are the kind of way this is the kind of way he was talking to me then I was like, oh, no, it's not that. Because for me, you're asking me to visit your house. I don't visit men, men houses. I don't know you. Like, like, we are not even friends yet. Yet you want to... I'm not comfortable in that manner to start visiting you in your house. And, you know, say to me, let's go for a coffee date. Or let's do a couple of picnics or whatever. Like, you don't just invite me in your house, like, just like that. And then he felt offended that I was even... Uh, opposing the the idea of him inviting me to his house because according to him he's known me and now we are girlfriend and boyfriend so we can proceed to being even further even to getting into his house and being naughty you know then i told him first of all before we go any further i want to tell you that i have boundaries as a woman i have boundaries that i have set for myself and my aim in life is not to do try and errors in dating as time goes by like i am bringing this man in my life he he goes like i don't i don't remove my panties as i go it's not my aim i'm not i'm not the, i'm not uh, that kind of a person i don't have to bring all tom dick and harry into my sugar walls i don't have to open my sugar walls you know what sugar wall is is a nunu a woman's nunu down there. I don't have to open my sugar wall to every Tom, Dick, and Airy that is coming. So, this is me. I have my boundaries, and I do not uh, allow people to get in my space like that. Like I do not know you yet, and we cannot. Like we can be friends, and we can establish something. Yes, but we can be know each other via being friends first before entering into each other's panties. That is not my aim. And then he felt offended, and he was saying that I'm being hard on him, and I'm trying to dictate him and tell him what to do with me, that he's giving me a chance to be with him, but at the same time, he's a man, and no man will accept, because he said, I know that what you are implying is that you don't want to have sex before you are married. But then I'm like, man, you say that you are a born-again Christian, as in, as a born-again Christian, what does the Bible say? What does the word say? Like, when you are dating me, I am like your sister in Christ. And you are supposed to treat me with the high of the highest purity. You're supposed to guard my purity. And your aim is not to take me to bed first. Your aim is to take me, to ask me to take you to my parents and then propose and then quote me the right way. I told him that you said you're a born-again Christian, so I expect higher of you when it comes to these kind of things. Like you don't expect me to go to bed with you 
I don't know who you are, and that is not how women of, of sub, substance and, and virtue act in the community. I don't do that for myself, and I've, I am in my 30s, and I'm not going set, to settle down for, you know, bring down myself like that. Like, I'm not going to do that. I've never done it since I was, you know, and even now I'm not going to do it for you. What are you bringing in on the table? What are you bringing? Like, what are you coming with apart from all these lines of, of things that you have set up? Like, he's giving me rules and he's telling me how I'm supposed to be with him. And because it feels like he, I am, uh, he's doing me a favor. So then uh, he was sending me these voice notes, voice notes, voice notes that I felt all, I felt like he was, I felt like, like, like he was lecturing me like i am some 18 year old that he is like gotten that that he can lecture me and tell me this and that you know and i'm supposed to just say okay yes sir yes sir and then he also said that you cannot have more than i do and then i felt afraid for myself i'm like boy i have busted my ass off working and trying to establish something for myself and according to the luo culture i'm telling you this is what i know because i'm a luo if a man gets you and let's say something happens to you and you happen to have something or let's say a house or some property or whatever it belongs to them the minute they have you everything that you have his family can demand to come and live in your house they can demand to have your property they can demand to share like you you owe them the minute you come they come into your life they own you with everything you have so the way he was talking to me I knew that it's going, there's going to be a big problem here if I even accept this man into my life, obviously. So because I was like also trying to play, like play him and be like this, so he felt like because he's gotten me, he's an alpha man and male, and he's trying to, you know, set his boundaries and, 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 and you know, take his center stage into my life and telling me this is how we are going to do this and this is how this is going to work and this is how... And I was like, boy, you don't know who you are messing up with. You know, you, you, you don't know who I am. And then he was like, uh, you know, I know that his parents would be lucky to have me. One, because they would grab me even without thinking of my age. If I had nothing, they would be like thinking about it and even accusing me of witchcraft. I said that earlier. And I feel like they need to, I, have, I feel they need to repeat this. So anyway, after a couple of voice notes, I didn't call him because he told me that I needed to call him. So it was a long distance relationship, according to him, that needed to, I needed to make more effort into communicating with him than he does. As in, I needed to find time to make a phone call, call him because he asked me if I would be calling him because it's too expensive for him to call me. So I was like, Okay, so he was giving me all these voice notes and saying to me, and then I blocked him from my first number, not remembering that I actually gave him two numbers. Then after blocking him, because he sent me a voice note that didn't rub me the right way, because he was telling me that no man will accept the fact that I don't want to be intimate with them before they marry me. And then I told them that I know girls who are Kenyans who have met men who respected their their choices in life and even if sex had to come it had to come not forced I, I have to be willing and I have to see are you treating me right and it has to be something that just happened you know that both of us were willing there has to be a, two consenting adults agreeing to this you don't tell me that oh if I want it I would I would get it that is what he was telling me if I want to have sex with you I would get it if I want to do this I would get it I'm like who raised you like seriously so I was just listening to him more and every time I listened to him I was just exhausted you know it's like listening to him was the most exhausting thing that I've ever done to myself and then I found a couple of voice notes that he left me when I was at work so when I came back I was at the airport and you know the first thing you get to the airport you get to the bus you settle down and then you sit down you start uh, reading through whatever and checking your social media so I found voice notes from him on WhatsApp. Then I put my headphones and started listening to those voice notes. Boy, I felt like my father was sitting down and lecturing me because he was lecturing me for five constant minutes, telling me all how I think I am better.
and how I think that I am perfect. And because I blocked him from the other number, he was just going on and on. Like we are already in a relationship. I've already known you and you are supposed to communicate things. If you don't like something, tell me you don't like it, I change it. And how, how can you just like go quiet? You are that type of a woman whom if they are in a relationship and something goes wrong, you just run away from it instead of fixing it. And you think that you are better than me. You think that da da da. And it just went on and on. And then I was like, I was like, I don't even have time in the year of time to even try and reply to this man because I feel like the more I'm going to reply to him, the more I, or the more you know I'm going to then I'm like you are already set in your ways you are one really opinionated man I am opinionated myself and I don't need somebody who is even more opinionated than I am you know I need somebody who is a bit more calm and the absolute opposite of me so he is even more opinionated than I am so tell me how that is gonna work how is that gonna work so then he was like you I have given you a chance to get to know me and to even marry me in the future but it's up to you if you don't want it just tell me you don't want it so i can delete you from my from my phone you know and i was just like who do you think you you, you like who do you think you're giving what chance like and i just deleted his ass i just absolutely deleted him like for example for me i think i have reached a point in my life that I'm not worried. I'm more worried about my happiness than I am worried about bringing somebody in my life just to fill my space because I don't want to be alone. I am not worried about that. Everyone can be worried for me whatever they want, but this is my life and I've chosen it for myself. And if a guy is not going to be interested in me, in knowing me for who I am, before even getting into sexual stuff and, and wanting to know me, me through, like... Like my sugar walls is the way to my heart or what? Like that is where, like I do not, I've never grasped it. So if someone is not interested in having a conversation with me and knowing me as a person, then I'm equally not interested in, in even introducing them to my, you know, bringing them into my space. Because as it stands, he wanted somebody, like he was obviously wanted to, me to be his cougar, and as a cougar, you have to be raising, it's almost like I would be raising a boy child. Like he's going to be a son that I'm raising. Like he's super exhausting by just even a few conversations we had. So you can imagine being in a relationship with this type of a person. I just said, you know what? I'm not going through that and just deleted him from my life entirely. So you guys, I hope you like this, uh, this conversation and I hope you, you know, so if you like this kind of videos that you want us to just talk and, you know, me to give you a kind of this kind of life, uh, you know, my experience, just please like this video and just give positive comments below and I will actually make sure that I give you. I have a couple of stories that are coming up. So keep watch for those stories and please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Have a lovely day. Bye.